Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, if you meet me for the first time, and um, today we are talking about the Ninja 5, along with the SDI module from Atomos. Is it better than the Shogun 7? This is the part two, and we're gonna wrap it up, coming up. All right, welcome back. Very quickly, um, if you're new here, I'd like you to subscribe. Here we do music, movies, tech, short films, and all that. Basically, if you like to watch movies and you like to learn how to make movies, then this is the channel for you. I already cleared out the um, installation, like setup, you know, unboxing, what's in the box, kind of stuff between the two of them, I think. Yeah. Um, in a video, previous video, so you might want to check that out. Besides the size of the Shogun 7, nothing else compares with the Ninja 5. And that's because um, while they both can record, the format for which um, Shogun 7 records is always going to be better than the Shogun 5. The Ninja 5, we only pay off with cameras like the a7S3, A7S3S, new one. Be better for um, Panasonic GH5 and then the Lumix S1H. You know, uh, Atomos opened features for those cameras specifically. And I would advise you to do, even though it's, you don't have the camera, still go ahead and uh, upload the version because they have slight improvement on the soft overall performance of the Ninja 5. If you have a cinema camera and you got SDI on it, I see no point getting this. Now, I did contact uh, uh, Atomos, uh, their support, and I did complain like, why is this recording only that? and uh, he brought something to my knowledge. Your Sony FS5 Mark II only outputs 1080p. 1080p and RAW, 4K RAW. So that's a problem from the SS5, um, uh, which I don't know if any other cinema cameras have the same, you know, with the SDI has the same format. Um, I, wish they, I wish Sony allowed 4K ProRes as well externally. Um, using the HDMI on the Sony FS5, you get 1080p as well. But if I pick my Sony A6400, I can record 4K from this device. 8-bit 422 on the Ninja 5 at 4K. Now that's an improvement. Cinema cameras can get 4K ProRes on this for a smaller size i think uh it's it will be for convenience you want to get this you know you'll miss the raw but external recording raw um but you i mean i would say it's convenient to have this it is good to have this but it's also smart to have the shogun 7 as well so when you want to feel convenient you want you want to take it easy on yourself you take this guy along and record in ProRes for a not so, maybe like YouTube videos, stuff like that. But for corporate work, you wanna keep your Shogun by your side. So for the records, like those of you who asked, is Sony FS5, mm, unless you already have this and you have other cameras that benefit from this, yes, I would say go ahead and record your 1080p on this device in ProRes, it will still be better off than record 1080p to your FS5 SD card, okay? So that's clear. Now before we wrap it up, I want to wrap, I want to say something about this device. 
what, what's the purpose of this? I'm going to put something on the screen for you to read. I, I read it. I had a different understanding. Um, and when I contacted uh, Adamos, they said, no, it, that's not what it means. And I did tell the, um, the tech guy from Atomos that I saw, I read this whole stuff that he didn't explain. He just said, nope, that's not for switching. And that's what I'm talking about next. You know, they said there's something called half switching that if you install this, this can take another one of itself. I, I said in the last video that I suspect that the Atomos 5 can switch. That's what I thought the write-up here meant. So I'm gonna put it on your screen. You know, I'm gonna enlarge it on the screen so you, you can read it for yourself and tell me what does this mean. And um, so maybe I'm wrong or maybe they are not ready to release this because it's kind of hidden though. You let me know, guys. Most likely the combination between these two will not assist your cinema camera. However, I mean, by that I mean your cameras with SDI. However, for the cameras with HDMI, um, with no limitations to what it comes out with, or regardless of the limitations, as long as you can record 1080p and above, uh, this is a good, um, better format to record it, you know? And I was going to get another of these. Luckily, I held on till I heard back from the uh, representative, which uh, saved my box. But if you let me know, I mean, I don't know. Adamus, if you're hearing this, just in case I was still misinformed, I will appreciate uh, some clarity on what's half switching as written on this pack. So for time code reasons, you want to have it too. So while it's good for time code, um, not for external raw, it will not give you raw, no matter how what camera they haven't put that in it. Maybe they can, of course, Ninja 5 uh, does raw for some other cameras, right? But they don't want to, I guess, you know, I guess. But for the Sony FS5 Mark II, the camera is its own limitation. It's set to HD and RAW. So for the, um, because the Ninja 5 with the SDI module does not record RAW, it cannot help that camera besides ProRes HD. Get it? Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did that, I'll see you in the next video. Sign code. That's a good one. You wanna have it?